Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and it is time to repot some plants. A lot of repotting videos are going to be coming your way. I have so many plants that are just desperate for a new pot. Roots crawling out of the bottom. I gotta water it every three days. I swear there's probably no soil left in there. It's all roots. I have so many plants like that, but I keep putting it off because I love the pot that they're in. For example, the one I'm gonna be doing today is right here. My beloved, beautiful philodendron ring of fire. I mean, this plant, I'm absolutely crazy about this plant. I mean, look at it. What's there not to love? It's got the beautiful leaf shape, the variegation, the growth pattern. It is constantly cranking out leaves. I love this plant so, so much, but it desperately needs to be repotted, but I don't want to do it because I like the pot that it's in. It's in a little plastic pot still just sitting in this decorative pot. Um, I feel like this is going to be a ton of roots. I have to water this all the time. But I like it in here because I just pour the water in here, it sucks the water up and then I just leave it, I just leave it there on the desk. Uh, it's easy to take care of, it's, it's perfect right here. And I don't have a nursery pot that I could put it in and then put it in a bigger pot to make it easy to water like that. And I keep putting it off to repot it because I like the situation that it's in, but it definitely needs some more room to grow so we're doing that today and I have a ton of plants like this a ton of plants that I have to water every couple days because it's bone dry um I just keep putting it off but I'm gonna do it this time I'm gonna do it I'm gonna show you all in videos and every single time I do a repotting video I'm so happy with the results for the most part we all remember the Maranta video okay I remember it it haunts my dreams anyway I always love the outcome, I love the way that it looks, and I know that I'm going to love this, and I know the plant is going to be so much happier. So yeah, that's what's happening today. I brought out a terracotta pot. I would like to keep it in a plastic pot, but I didn't really find one that I wanted that I already owned. So I went and quickly uh, threw out my Peperomia Ruby Cascade. <laughs> I was like, I need this for something else, bye! Just kidding. That Ruby Cascade was like on death's door and I was sick of it. So I threw it away just now and it's gonna be the new home for this one. I also brought out the Fox Farm Ocean Forest Soil. I'm just using it straight out of the bag with nothing else in it. I just kind of felt like that plant would kind of like that situation. I don't know, I just felt it in my heart. So let's get started. What's, what was that? What did I do that for? We're just gonna go with that. Okay, as usual, I never know the best angle to do these repotting videos at. But I'm so excited to see what is going on here because this plant has been dying for a repot. I don't remember when I bought it. I bought it from The Wild Flourishing. I went through my email looking for this plant, looking for the emails. I could not find it. I searched for it because I wanted to see when I bought it. I guess I could look at my um, videos because I know I showed it in a video. Anyway, you know what? Let me look at it real quick to see how long I've had it because I've always been so curious. Well, in this video, this was 2022, September 2022, so I've had this at least a year and a half, um, if not two years now at this point. It's, it's beautiful. I love everything about it. So let's see the grand reveal. What if this has like no roots and it's like a tiny little baby and I've built it up in my head this whole time? Okay, let's be careful. Doesn't this look like one of those pieces of art from Beetlejuice? I can't, um, what's Lydia's mom's name? I can't remember her name in the movie. But you know that one chair she makes with the wires and it's like this? This feel, this looks like that for some reason at this angle. Okay, how do I get it out? I don't want to break it. <clears throat> it's very soft though. Ooh. Oh yeah. Not as root bound as I was expecting, but I also think the soil is super, super airy. Like, it's a lot of this kind of stuff, the rocks and the bark. I don't even know if there's like, there is some soil in here, but it's a lot of this kind of stuff too, which is keeping it um, dry on the drier side. But I really just want to repot this. Oh yeah, look, there's a little terracotta chunk. I'm not gonna mess with this too much, because I don't, I don't know, I just feel funny about that when people like do the roots and stuff. The roots will find their way, the plant, the plant knows what's best. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it like that. Is this pot too big? Is that too big? I don't think so. I mean, oh my gosh, it looks amazing already. 
No. Let's do it. So I did get uh, one of these little mesh things that I got from Timu. Put this right here on the bottom to cover up the drainage hole. Yeah, the pot's dirty. There was nothing wrong with the plant that was in here. Plus the, pl the pot's gonna get dirty anyway, so. I don't know, I just never really go out of my way to clean the pot if I'm gonna reuse it. Other than if it has a pest. The mealy bug situation, I went insane cleaning those pots. Um, I would never, you know, just throw a plant inside of a, a mealy bug infested plant pot. Anyway, cool. This is perfect. This is definitely a perfect pot. I thought it was going to be too big. And I think I am just going to put this little stuff that was uh, in the plant in the first place back in back on top of the pot. You know, it's a nice little, nice little top dressing. The only thing here, I think I might eventually have to put some sort of support on it because before when it was in here, the plant was a little bit low so it was kind of leaning against the pot and here, we don't have that. It's just growing up like this. So I feel like I might have to put something on it but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Sons of no one. Can't get that song out of my head. Is that enough? Let me shake it. <laughs> I don't really want to put the soil too. That'll be okay. Right? Yeah, that's good right there. I look how much bigger it looks too. All right, let's scoop up all this good stuff here. I don't want to waste any of this this good looking soil. I always love these soils that are like super airy and chunky looking. I like the way they look but I don't really like them in practice too much because you just gotta water way too often. Of course there are plants that kind of need that kind of care and that kind of soil but for me it's a little too high maintenance you know. And here we are. Here is the completed plant. Doesn't it look so much bigger now that it's in this big pot? It looks very appropriately potted now. I don't know, I feel like I might need a support here eventually or it's gonna kind of start leaning down. I don't know, what do you think? I probably would, if I wanna keep the plant growing all to the front. I have seen people with their ring of fire and the, it like grows around the pot like it's supposed to, like a ring of fire. But I have mine facing um, a west window and of course all the leaves wanna go towards the light. But that's totally fine with me. It takes up a lot less space like this than if it was in a big circle. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I cannot wait to continue repotting my plants and just giving them a new little home. And you know what? I might go crazy and fertilize this thing too. I don't know, who am I? Anyway, that is it. That is today's video. Thank you so much for joining me for my little repotting of my new baby. Lots of repotting coming your way. Hopefully you like repotting videos because that's what that's what I gotta do. That's what's on the, that's what's on the house plant chores list for now. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one, and I will see you later in another video. Oh, goodbye.